everyone welcome back to another video on our channel and today this video is not going to be something if you have seen my videos earlier this is not going to be something like those videos this is a totally different video this is going to be so uh, i will wish uh, if you have some free time and um, please watch this video i think this will help you guys as well so uh, this video is going to be the 2023 and 2024 so today is the last day of 2023 and from tomorrow a new year 2024 is going to start and all you all know that everyone makes new year resolutions okay uh, and none of them are getting fulfilled okay or at least like if you are making 10 at least one of them are getting fulfilled like that okay so uh, those things we are not going to do okay we are going to focus on important things today okay not only just vague resolutions uh, imaginary dreams okay like we are not going to be talking about going to moon or become CEO of a multi-billion dollar company within this year we are going to talk about small reasonable dreams which we can achieve okay so first I'm going to uh, ask you what is your dream this is might feel like a HR round okay like people ask the in the HR round right that what you, you can see like where you are seeing yourself after five years so we'll not go that far we'll just take it one by one okay so what you are seeing that you are achieving in the next one year okay by achievement i means what growth you have seen in yourself i'm not going to talk about other things i'm going to stay to the particular topic which our channel is about so these particular resolutions or growth what you are aiming for to gain in 2024 this we are going to talk regarding only based on your studies, uh, your new technology skills, whatever you are achieving, uh, maybe your jobs. Okay, uh, this is going to be regarding that only. So, in 2023, uh, there was a mass uh, recession was going on. Many people were losing their jobs. 2023 batch higher students are not maximum are not yet onboarded. 2024 there are almost no hirings okay mass recruiters have not hired any but 2024 is going to be different 2024 the recession is slowly going away okay slowly the companies are giving onboarding to those candidates who are not uh, yet onboarded they are started to give onboarding and by 2024 for three four months i think there will be most of the candidates who will get onboarded and after like that three four months uh, there will be mass hirings for 2024 batch candidates as well so uh, 2024 batch of mass equipment already been announced tcs has started tcs and qt and the exam is going to be in january 15th we have make a detailed video regarding that exam pattern everything i can check that in the description box if you are from 2024 batch we are coming we are going to come to 2024 batch later what happens if you are 2023 batch and you are not yet onboarded or you just get on board so see it industry if you are going to stay in the it industry you are getting a job and it's uh, you are done with studies that's not the case till your last day of your job you have to keep learning you have to keep uh, exploring okay so whatever may your situation be if you are placed you are not placed you are onboarded if you are not onboarded you have to keep on learning okay you have to keep on learning new things new technologies new skills even if you got onboarded and you are not getting project so what you have to do we have to keep learning new skills new things that are in demand okay the more skills the more in demand skills you will know the higher your chances of getting a project will be okay and even if any recession comes in future that if any people is getting laid off from your company that particular person should not be you okay many persons ask me regarding this okay like how uh, what will happen there is a recession and how you will we survive in the it so i'm going to make a little video later regarding that if you want me to just comment down but we are i'm going to give you one single uh dialogue that is from a movie called uh i think it is called uh dhamal okay yeah it is from dhamal movie okay and there was a dialogue regarding like four friends were just uh, roaming in a jungle they lost in the jungle and suddenly they heard a roar of a tiger okay so one person uh, one of the friends suddenly started to tie his uh, tie, suddenly started to tie his boots okay so the other friend was asking why are you tying your boots do you think that you can run faster than the tiger the friend who was tying his boots just said 
I don't have to run faster than the tiger. I just have to run faster than all of you. Okay. So this is the similar case. Your mindset should not, should be like this. I'm not saying to abandon your friends. I'm just saying to have a competitive mindset. Okay. You, you should not think about the problems you cannot solve. You should just think about the solution which is in your hand. You should not think about how you will end the recession, how recession will affect your work. This is not in your hand. Even if you think for a whole day, this will not go, uh, you cannot be able to do anything regarding the recession. You cannot be able to stop a war, you cannot be able to uh, bloom the market, you cannot be ha able to uh, get many many projects from the clients. Okay, all you can do is outperform everyone else in your co company. Okay, you have to outperform everyone else in your company. Okay, so if at least uh, your company has, suppose your company has 100 uh, working persons. Okay and they uh, after layoff they want to uh, keep only 20 percent and they will lay off 80 percent so you don't have to own the company or fight with the company you just have to stay in the top 20 percent of the company okay that's it that's how you will survive that's how you will keep your job in the recession work hard learn new skills okay keep learning new skills whenever you are getting a laser time suppose there is a bench period you are not getting any project you are just uh, roaming in the cafeteria in your office or you are just wasting time by gossiping instead of doing that you can learn a new uh, skill in that particular time okay so think like that learn anything new even if you are not in office even if you are in office like if you did not get a job or if you are not getting onboarded still learn something new in your vacant time in your laser time okay learn something new keep learning these learnings will never go in vain whatever company you join in you will have to again learn some things after joining as well so for getting any project there will be project interviews there will be client interviews you have to perform there only then they will assign you to a project okay only if you are profitable to a company only then they will uh, be giving you projects they will be uh, promoting you they will be giving you uh, hikes okay so make sure uh, make yourself knowledgeable and useful to a company for that you have to learn new skills that is the basic thing so i'm not going to uh, talking about learning cooking skills learning growing new hobbies of reading books vagera vagera those all are good if you are having those as a new year resolution that's fine i'm not going to talk about that i'm just going to talk regarding how you can uh, what resolutions you should have for your own growth in this particular year make sure to invest in your own growth you have to invest your time and money for your own growth and by growth I means only I am going to talk regarding your professional and career and educational aspects. So make sure in this new year you are at least learning 3 to 4 new skills in this whole year. Okay, give it your resolution, put in the comments, Don't you don't have to name them, just mention how many new skills you are going to run, how many new tech stacks you are going to learn in this new year. Okay. You can put how many lead code problems you are going to solve. Okay, you can put like uh, I will be coming in hacker rank 5 star or I will be coming in uh, I will be solving uh, 1000 codes in this year or I will be uh, solve at least one coding question daily. You can give anything regarding this. Put these resolutions in the comments. I am going to compare this in the next year. You will also uh, you can also save this uh, videos link. Okay, anywhere save it anywhere. And after one year, next year, 31st December, I am also going to make a video regarding this, hopefully. And you will check, come to that previous video's comment section. You will check and then reply again. How many of those who, what you have commented, how many of those you have completed, okay? Don't uh, write unnecessary, big, unachievable things, okay? If you write, suppose I will do 5,000 codes or I will learn 10 stake stacks in this year and if you waste one month time then you will feel oh now it's over i cannot uh, i if i try hard then also i will not be able to achieve so that's why i'm saying don't write anything that is unachievable set your goal realistic set your goal achievable okay it does not matter how you reach your goal it only matters if you are reaching your goal or not okay so write achievable realistic things in your new year resolution and we will see if we receive that is if we reach that or not i am also i am also going to set some goals for myself 
and i'm not going to uh, set uh, like i'll i have obviously i will set some goals uh, otherwise but in this video i'm going to discuss regarding obviously uh, regarding my youtube channel so i will try to post new hiring drives new videos if not daily i will try to post at least 10 to 12 every week okay and by next year i will post at least uh, suppose i am posting three videos daily till i have it's okay by next year i will have posted at least 1500 videos okay so to, uh, already i have at uh, 300 plus videos so by next year i will post more than 1500 plus videos at the end of the day you can see in my channel like how many videos i have posted you can go and go to my channel and see and at the 31st december i will compare how many videos i have seen and this is what i can do and what uh, i will achieve as a result that is not in my hands so i'll not uh, say it as a resolution but i would like to uh, reach at least 10000 plus subscribers by the 31st december of 2024 but that's not in my hand so i'm not going to set it as a resolution but what's in my hand is continuing posting daily keep hiring drives uh, post hiring drives post different different uh, informations regarding companies uh, what the situation is after company company hikes i'm going to get more information regarding companies hike how to get promotion these things i'm going to post this so that this helps you as well I'm going to uh, post for 2024 batch as well. My audience is mainly from 2023 batch. 2024 batch audience, I don't have much. But I will keep posting for, for getting, I will keep posting for their benefit as well. Because after this year, March or April, there are going to be many hiring drives that is going to come for 2024 batch. I'm going to post everything regarding those hiring drives, their exam pattern, how should they prepare, what happens after getting the job how when their onboardings are going to happen any news i'm going to get i'm going to post it okay so that's why i'm saying i'll post at least 1200 or plus 300 so total 1500 videos are going to be there at least in my channel after 31st december 2024 and i hope we will be reaching by 10,000 subscriber by then so let's see uh, if i can fulfill my resolution or not and if you can fulfill your resolution or not so just comment down and make sure this is regarding your career growth the resolution you are commenting must be regarding your career growth whatever tech stacks you are learning even if you are not uh, set in the career for it if you are uh, supposed to uh, suppose if you have a dream of suppose if you have a dream of clearing a cat and go for mba then also you can post a resolution like uh, i will be coming in this percentile of cat or i will be scoring this much marks in the cat okay you can post that also in the resolution that uh, so that's it make the comments regarding your career and your educational your personal growth that's it and if you think our videos are informative if you think our videos are getting any help to you make sure to subscribe to the channel okay and you can also send super thanks or anything but that's uh, completely up to you but make sure to subscribe to the channel at least and share with uh, the new batch students that are 2024-2025 batch students who are uh, looking for uh, many 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 people in my uh, college days also I asked many seniors regarding from where to get information regarding off campus hiring from where to get information regarding hiring drives hiring patterns like that so make sure you are sharing these uh, videos or at least the channel link to those 2024-2025 uh, batch candidates who might be uh, looking for uh, sources or who might be looking for um, resources for jobs like job hiring details, job hiring information, their uh, exam pattern etc. So make sure to share it with them.